It's not every day we come across a hero. Here in Esperming, Ray Loverton is that hero. Whether it's the high school football stadium, the library, or this building right behind me, many say Leverton devoted his life to the selfless service of his community and its landmark. He was honored by state and local leaders on Friday for the lifetime of community service. Ray Leverton is, has been dedicated to this community his entire life. He um, was the volunteer curator and director at the uh, U.S. National Ski and Snowboard, Snowboard Hall of Fame for 34 years. He uh, was a star athlete in his day at Ishpeming High School, and he has been with the Ishpeming Noon Kiwanis Club. He has uh, worked for, you know, to remodel the uh, Carnegie Public Library and uh, things for the school district as well. Ray was honored with a flag that flew over the U.S. Capitol, a state of Michigan flag that flew over the state capitol, a certificate from Senator Gary Peters, and a state of Michigan tribute including signatures from Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist, and Senator Egg McBroom. The state of Michigan tribute was then presented by State Representative Sarah Combenzi. The city manager was to present the proclamation that was generated uh, by vote of the city council, unanimous vote, to recognize Ray Leverton for now and for always as having September 9th be the Ray Leverton Day in the community. Uh, so we put together that proclamation in a nice pretty presentation. We framed it with some coins and, and basically I spent uh, time reading it to him. He hadn't had an opportunity to read it or had ever seen it. So we read it through it and presented him a very well put together uh, framed version of that along with a army uh, frame for his flag. We, we had that flag flown over the U.S. Capitol in his honor and uh, Congressman Bergman was generous enough to help us make that happen. We put it in a nice frame with the army uh, symbol on the front of it and we wanted to, sh to recognize both his service to the community but also service to country in the same presentation and as a veteran I certainly felt uh, very honored to be able to give him a, a flag flown over our U.S. Capitol. He served in the Korea War and represented his country as well as his city. I asked one last question. But if Mr. Ray was standing here right now, what would you say to him? I'd say thank you, first and foremost. And I would uh, thank his family for um, uh, sharing him with all of us. And I would uh, look at Ray and I would say, okay, Ray, what's next? And I would grab my notebook and I would, uh, you know, like I'm going to do on Tuesday, is I'm going to sit down with Ray. I'm going to write down some things that uh, he wants to, um, you know, see happen. And uh, I would just say, all right, you know, now we've got to get to work.